Hello, today's devotional can be found in Doctrine and Covenants, section 40, verse 2. And he received the word with gladness, but straightway Satan tempted him, and the fear of persecution and the cares of the world caused him to reject the word. Okay, so here's the thing. God gives us many blessings. He offers us the chance to ha be happy and enjoy happiness and do good and live well. But there are many who don't believe in God, and Satan uses that to his advantage. He says, others will persecute you. If you stay with God, your life will be horrible if you stay with God. And so those who were looking forward to those blessings suddenly see the blessings and the giver of them as poison. And they distance themselves, and they end up losing the blessings that they looked so forward to simply because they allowed Satan to influence them. Life is so very short. We cannot afford to let outside influences take us away from the blessings we know we deserve. We are children of God first and foremost, and Satan doesn't like that. So he's going to use any tactic possible to push us away from becoming who we are meant to become. Satan was one who received the word with gladness. But then he was tempted by the prospect of power and wanting to have his own way. So he gave it up. <clears throat> and the way he gave it up and the way he rejected God and Christ, he can never go back to it. He is permanently spiritually dead. And he knows this. He's aware of it. And so he wants others to be as miserable as he is, so he's not alone in his misery. So that's why he does what he does. But we don't have to be miserable. We can receive the word of the Lord with gladness, and we can go forward and enjoy life for what it is. And not worry about persecution and not give in to temptation and avoid the prisons that come with those things because when we sin when we give into to temptation we put ourselves into a personal prison and it is only by the atonement that we can get out it is only by the atonement that we are not stuck with our weaknesses and imperfections whenever they happen to us life is so short that we don't need to give in to satan to be happy we can find happiness with the lord if we choose to people give in to satan all the time thinking they shall be happy but they are not but everyone does have their choices and we need to be respectful of that but when you give in to satan you don't really have a choice you become dependent on those bad habits and so you surrender your agency and life is too short to surrender agency Life should be enjoyed. And with that said, I love you all so very much. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.